Welcome to my channel. Spoilers ahead. The movie begins with Will, the son of two heroic parents, is expected to one day join them in saving the world, according to the plot. His parents are the Commander and Jetstream, two of the most powerful superheroes in any universe. Will's first day at Sky High, a superhero high school, is today. Will's brother gets a call from the mayor before school and has to go with Will's mum to save the world. Before he leaves, however, he warns Will that most of the students at the high school will only have one superhero parent who dislikes him, so Will shouldn't brag too much. After his parents leave, Will and his childhood friend Leela turn on the news on the television and sees his parents destroy the giant robot rampaging through town. After the battle the commander takes the robot's head as a souvenir the next scene shows Will and Layla getting on the school bus despite wanting to keep a low profile Will get special treatment on the bus because of his parents after the last student boards. They realize this isn't a normal bus. The bus drives off a ramp and plummets causing all the students on board to scream and fear but suddenly it transforms into a plane and flies away. They quickly arrive at the high school which is floating high in the sky. The school's location is secret so as to prevent villains from discovering it. The freshmen see many other students on campus using various superpowers some students are flying one has laser vision and another can freeze people. A group of cheerleaders welcomed the freshmen to campus with a cheer routine. At the end of the routine the new students realize it's just one cheerleader with the power to duplicate ourselves. However, not all the older students are so welcoming like every school even Sky High has bullies to bullies come up to the group of freshmen and demand a $15 student fee from each person. Luckily, the student body president when he gets them to leave will is he named with when at first sight much to Leland dismay before the freshmen can begin classes they must undergo power testing to determine if they will be heroes or sidekicks each student goes up on stage and performs their superpower for their teacher who then decides which group they belong to. Once on stage Will has no choice but to confess to the teacher that he doesn't know what his superpower is not believing him the teacher drops a car on Will who drops flat just in time not to get killed. Eventually, the teacher believes him and assigns Will to be a sidekick in the nurse's office she tells Will have the sobering possibility that he may never develop superpowers much like Sky High's bus driver. After school Will tries to tell his father the truth about not having powers however. Before he can his dad takes him into the secret sanctum the secret sanctum is decked out in scientific equipment and souvenirs from his parents greatest battles. CDs will no longer has the courage to tell his dad the truth. Meanwhile, the robot head from that morning's battle sits on the chair and the secret sanctum through it to mysterious individuals watch will and his dead from a monitor in class the next day the students begin. To learn about being sidekicks one student wants to know when they get to pick their superhero names. However, it turns out that sidekicks don't get to choose their own names or costumes. These are all decided by the hero they get paired with after graduation. It turns out that their teacher was once B Commander's sidekick. But he was disappointed to find out that Will's parents had never once mentioned him to Will students begin to adjust in life at Sky High as they learn to use various gadgets such as nets and utility belts. How to change into costumes and pose Will makes friends with other sidekicks from his class one night there at his house study when his dad comes home early meeting Will's friends and learning about their powers. His dad is very underwhelmed tells Will there's nothing wrong with being a sidekick when he tries to remember his own sidekick's name he can't Will finally gathers up the courage to tell his dad that he is a sidekick to this enrages his father, who slams his fist against the kitchen counter causing all the items on it to jump up. His dad immediately blames the teacher who gave the test thinking he only made Willie sidekick out of pettiness. His dad picks up the phone to call the school to complain but he's too angry to control his super strength and breaks the phone into pieces Will finally gets through to his dad telling him it's not his teacher. He just doesn't have powers. His dad desperately assures him that he will one day but Will tells him he doesn't care because he's proud to be a sidekick underground, his mom and dad tried to grapple with their disappointment. Eventually, they decided that being a family was just as important as being a superhero family. The next day, the school bullies are using their powers to pick on the bus driver, despite not having any powers Will stands up to the bullies at lunch. The bullies get their revenge they trip Will causing him to dump his food onto. War and Peace Florian is the son of a superhero handy villain and Will's dad was the one who put Warren's dad in prison. 
Angered by what Will did Warren continuously throws fireballs at Will who dodges and tries to escape by crawling beneath tables when Will's friends stand up to defend him. Warren turns his rage on them. This upsets Will who lifts the table Warren is standing on into the air revealing his super string Will toss the table and Warren into the ceiling as Warren charges toward Will Will use as a fire. Extinguisher to put out as blames the principal arrives and puts them both in detention Will tries to make peace with Warren but it's their dads who are enemies, not them. However, Warren didn't want to make peace when he returns home. His dad is overjoyed that he has super strength, giving him an Xbox as a gift through the robot's eyes. The mysterious duo plot their revenge the next day Will is transferred to classes for heroes in his first class Will get to work with when on building a freeze ray. However, he proves hopeless with technology so when he uses her powers to build it for him at lunch Will is sitting with Gwen and her friends who don't allow his other friends to join because they're only. Sidekick's peeling bed will ask Leela to the paper lantern her favorite restaurant to make it up to her just then he hears his friend calling for help turning the corner well finds the bullies. Stuffing his friends into lockers so he makes them let his friends out Wellsprings make a bed with the bullies if Will wins a game of save the citizens against them they'll leave the sidekicks alone. For the rest of the year. In the game mannequins are put into dangerous situations the team of bullies are villains Will and his partner are the heroes and must rescue the mannequins before they get destroyed. Will is paired up with Warren as soon as the game begins. Will just keeps getting knocked around by the bullies. He eventually gets tired of it and punches the floor sending the villains flying he quickly ties up one of the villains while Warren is throwing fireballs at the remaining villain he yells at Will to save the mannequin the only way to win the game however right then the villain began to run around Warren Warren begins to exacerbate as the villain's power sucks away his oxygen seeing Warren in. Trouble Will decides to save Warren after saving him Will toss his Warren at the mannequin saving it from being destroyed Will is cheered by the students when Will returns home later he finds wind in. His kitchen when stays for dinner and the entire family is having a great time when invites Will's parents to the homecoming dance as the guest of honor. Meanwhile, Leela is sitting alone at the paper lantern waiting for Will after she's been there for a while one of the waiters comes up to her it turns out to be Warren Well. Leela and Warren talk and get to know each other Will ask when to homecoming and she says yes the next day we'll meet Leela at the bus stop rather than being angry for standing her up. Leela wants to ask Will to the dance. However, before she gets the chance, Will excitedly tells her that he's going with when putting on a smile. Leela pretends to be happy for him afterwards. She lies and says she's going to homecoming with Warren Will is upset by this news because he views Warren as his enemy angry with Will Layla sits with Warren at lunch and tells him they're going to homecoming together before Warren can say much all of Leland's friends sit around him. Warren happily agrees to a problem when he realizes how much it will bother Will after a school that day Will accidentally holds a party at his house while his parents are going during the party Will take one into the secret sancto while they're kissing one of the souvenirs a secretly stolen in the background. Leela discovers the party by accident and walks into the house where Gwen chases her away when Will finds out what happened. He gets angry and dumps when then kicks everyone out of his house. Later, he calls Leela to apologize. But she doesn't pick up he leaves a message for her to meet him at the paper lantern but she never shows up on the night of homecoming Will sits in the secret sanctum while his parents go to the Dance after rifling through his parents' old yearbook will notice is the resemblance of one of these students and realizes that the ray gun from his dad's collection is Missy he calls for help from the bus driver who takes him to the school. Meanwhile, at the dance when announces herself as the most powerful super being at the school, she uses the ray gun cheese dough from the secret sanctum to turn all the superheroes into babies. Gwen's friends and the school bullies like everyone inside the gym but Warren in the sidekicks managed to escape into the Vince Will finally arrives at the school and apologizes to his friends for being a jerk in the hallway. Leela and her friends battle against their villainous classmates while Will goes after Gwen holding a baby commander in her arms when reveals her plans to raise the babies so she could create a superhero school for villains but first she wants to destroy Sky High for not recognizing her genius. It turns out that in the past during a battle with the commander when was turned into a baby by her own weapon, GS waited many years to finally get her event. When Will shows up, she smashes him through several walls Leela and her friends defeat their villain his classmates, but they find out that Gwen had sabotaged the school's anti-gravity device. Meaning it would fall out of the sky. If they didn't escape, they would all die. 
the sidekicks work together to get to the device during his fight with Winwell gets thrown out a window and falls off the floating campus a moment will appears in the window fly using both his powers will defeat when outside the bus driver defeats Win's sidekick who was trying to steal the babies away. The school begins to fall out of the sky after Gwen activates her contraption remotely. Will flies beneath his school and uses his super strength to hoist it up, but even Will's super string couldn't handle it. His friend deactivates the gadget, restoring the school's anti-gravity capabilities, just as it appears like the school will collapse into the earth. Will flies the school back into the sky, restoring the baby's normalcy as well as the sidekicks. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.